And now to Delta State, where the Governor Sharif Oborori has urged the newly elected PDP State Executive Committee to emphasize unity within the party and to focus on strengthening its foundation, particularly in light of the upcoming 2027 elections. He cautioned politicians against fixating on the 2027 electoral cycle, asserting that the immediate priority should be the provision of effective governance for the citizens of Delta State. The governor made this remark shortly after casting his vote at the PDP State Congress in Asaba, the state capital. Our correspondent Akuma Jero Friday reports that the governor characterized the event as peaceful and expressed appreciation for the unity demonstrated within the party. He highlighted the necessity of collaboration for the sustained growth of the party and the overall advancement of the state. When you start talking about 27 for now, you are making a mistake because you have been elected to 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 by the people. So you, you need to show uh, something that just one year plus uh, 15 months now. So it's too early to talk about 27. So now apparently now we're focusing on governance. How we're able to um, the people will enjoy the middle of democracy. Um, take off issue of infrastructure, infrastructure. Take off the issue of human uh, capital development, and we are doing all that, and to ensure that there is peace in Delta State. So that's what we are doing now. Now we are focusing on governance. Is the main key thing. So when time comes for um, uh, politics, we we'll play it, but it's still very far. So anybody who is playing politics, I make it be very big mistake. Anyoma is the oldest agitation of a state, as we know it nationally. Uh, number two, we have the resources, we have the, the, the uh, manpower, and above all, above all, the people of Anyoma want it. They want it. And people of Delta also want it. What it means that in Delta we can have two governors, isn't it? One governor for Anyoma and one for Delta. We're going to have two capitals. One for in Asaba and one from Wari. We're going to have two ministers at any given time. Like, unlike now, when we have only one minister. So we're going to have two ministers. So it brings governance to the people. Today, dollar is almost 1,600 and something. Pounds, 2,000 plus. It was not like this during PDP uh, government. So any day, any time, PDP. And I want to beg Nigerians, 2027, refocus and focus on PDP. Let them take your dollar back to that 150 where it were. And also the price of pay. Most of you here can't even feed your family. And that is the truth. APC has taken us to the worst situation. The answer to removing sufferings of Nigerians is to bring PDP back to power. Today is that there's a lot of insecurity in the land. Farmers can go to their farms, not only in the north, but also in the southern part of the country, including the outer state. And because of that level of insecurity, we are producing much less than we would ordinarily have produced. So we have to tackle the issue of insecurity. It's very prime, and we must take it very seriously. Because no matter what you do in terms of agricultural impulse, in terms of educating farmers, even funding them to be able to return to the farms, if they are not able to return to the farms because of insecurity, there is no way we are going to wrap up our production. So for us to be able to ramp up the production, we just need to, first and foremost, tackle the issues of insecurity. And once you're able to produce more, you'll find that the price of food will start to go down. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.